A good friend of mine recently introduced me to FPV Free Rider. This is a FPV simulator that you can actually use with your own transmitter. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set this up with your Free Sky Tyrannus. And I've been using FPV Free Rider for a couple weeks now. The amazing thing about it is that it's only $5. It is a great racing simulator to teach you the ins and outs of acrobatic FPV flight. And if you're anything like me, you spend a lot of time crashing, breaking props, frames, all sorts of expensive accidents. And in FPV free rider, accidents cost you nothing. You just flip upside down and then you're back ready to race again. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And there's also a free version, which is what I tried out first, where you have access to one course. I highly recommend checking this project out, supporting it, and it's really just a great asset to the FPV community. So let's take a look at how to set up your Tyrannus to use with FPV Free Rider. Okay, so we'll go to our empty slot, we'll create a new model, and then I'll page into it and give it a model name. And in my case, I'm just going to call it FPV Sim. Then we'll go up to the setting for internal RF. We're going to go ahead and turn that off since it's not necessary. We'll be connecting via USB, so I'll hit enter. Next, we want to take a look at our channel setup. So I'll go to the mixer screen. And what we want to actually do here is we want to do the traditional AETR, aileron elevator throttle rudder. So I'll go ahead and move these into place. Now we have our four channels, aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. The next thing we want to do for each channel is we're going to edit. We're going to change the weight to 50, and we'll also then change the offset to 50. Now, apparently this only applies if you're on a Windows machine. I haven't verified that. I know that it works on my Windows PC, but perhaps you don't need to do this on Mac or Linux. Finish the last channel on rudder, and you can see all of our channels now are at 50 weight and 50 offset. Now with the Tranus turned on, I'll go ahead and connect the USB cable. And with the Tranus plugged in, the drivers were properly installed by Windows. Hopefully that happens for you guys. I've had a lot of trouble in the past with drivers and, and various transmitters. So I'm going to launch FPV free rider. Now we're on the main screen and the only thing we really need to do is make sure that our input is USB controller and we do the controller calibration. It'll ask for us to move our sticks in the appropriate direction. So we'll move rudder to the left and then at the same time we need to click OK on the screen. Then we're going to Put throttle all the way up, click OK, and as you can see, it's detecting the stick inputs. Now with our right stick, we'll go left, and then we'll go up and click OK. Now our calibration is done. You'll see that everything is working as expected. You can change your rates, change from acro to self-level mode, do timed races, all sorts of cool things with FPV Free Rider. So I just wanted to share that setup with the Tyrannus. Previously I'd been using it with my Real Flight controller. I wanted to use the same transmitter that I use in the field. So just a really cool simulator at a great price. Thanks to my buddy Zookie for recommending this. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.